Wuhahaha. Nice of the princess to invite us over for a picnic, gay Luigi. I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Luigi, look. La la, you're too late, pesky plumbers. Now, Peach, will you marry me? Ew. Pfft. Ow, right in the batteries. I am sick and tired of being uh, a trophy for uh, you boys, and, and I am not a fucking prize to be won. If, go make Luigi the damsel uh, for, for a change. Mario Brothers movie, directed by Aaron Horvath and uh, Michael uh, Janesic, uh, and uh, is uh, the uh, second uh, Ma Mario movie uh, to uh, be made, as well as uh, the 11th Illumination movie. So, uh, Super Mario Brothers movie tells the story of uh, the Mario Plumber Brothers in Brooklyn, Mario and Luigi, voiced by Chris Pratt and Charlie Day. And they feel like they are down on their luck. Uh, nobody uh, takes them uh, seriously until one day they get sucked for a pipe uh, and uh, separated. And Mario lands in the Mushroom Kingdom where he forms an alliance with uh, Princess Peach, a voice by Anya Taylor-Joy. And uh, Donkey Kong of uh, Kongland, voiced by Seth Rogen, to rescue uh, Luigi, who has just recently been captured by... Uh, the uh, monstrous uh, bowels are voiced by Jack Black, who uh, hopes to uh, uh, marry Peach uh, and uh, rule the world uh, with uh, her by his side with the recently captured star. Now, I've always been an enormous uh, Mario fan. I got this uh, DS for my 16th birthday uh, uh, 12 years ago, and uh, even the even a Mario game to go with us, and when I heard we were getting an animated Mario movie, I mean, yeah, I was like, uh, finally, this was the Mario movie uh, that uh, we should have gotten 30 years ago. Yes, we wasted 30 years for a good Mario movie. That is crazy. Even though I did have my scepticism because Illumination was uh, making it, but uh, that's a teaser trailer in October 2022. Well, uh, 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 caught me off guard by how uh, uh, good it was. All my worries and fears for this movie were out of sight once uh, the marketing dropped, and I even had a spaghetti or two uh, celebrate this movie's release on on April 5th. And though Illumination's a track record in, well, the 2020s especially, has been uh, shit, uh, like, uh, with animated disasters like uh, Sing 2 and Minions Fall of Gru, finally looked like uh, they, this could be the first uh, great Illumination movie, and and uh, at least the first one I enjoyed since the first Despicable Me 13 years ago. And uh, and now that I've seen the Super Mario Brothers movie 2023, you want to know what I thought? It's garbage. Oh my god, this is the worst video game movie I've ever seen. This movie's terrible. I mean, Grace Randolph was right about this film in her rants. April Fools! <laughs> I got you guys a major time there, didn't I? I mean, yeah, you want to know my actual thoughts on the movie? Here we go! It uh, was uh, super awesome. I mean, this may now be my favourite movie of 2023, a sorry Shazam Fury of the Gods, and, and, and it, it is, well, better than the, both Sonic the Hedgehog movies combined. 
spines and it's of course illuminations best efforts and tied with the last of us tv series as the greatest video game adaptation so 2023 continues to break uh, the curse of uh, underwhelming video game adaptations and I think uh, the critics giving this a mixed reception uh, but to giving uh, uh, shittier movies from Illumination like Sing 2 and Minions Fall of a Group Arses is unjustified. Like, who cares that this movie doesn't have the deepest story in the world? Uh, it's a Mario movie, what did you expect? I mean, I'll say it once in my Avatar reviews and I'll say it again, not every movie needs the most complex story to succeed. And you don't play the Mario games for the story, you play it to explore the worlds and for uh, the, the characters and uh, for uh, the, the action and for the soundtrack. And in terms of uh, that, so this movie ticks all the boxes, it is a uh, a total box ticker and uh, uh, visually uh, this is how you uh, portray Mario on film. The animation looks uh, positively radiant and uh, gorgeous. This is Illumination's most stunning looking movie uh, ever and this is how the Sonic movies uh, should have looked and uh, uh, we the, I mean, the Mushroom Kingdom beautifully brought to life and is as pretty as a rainbow and, and uh, D Donkey Kong Land is also inviting and uh, B Bowser's uh, Darklands and Bowser's Fortress, I mean, uh, well, look exactly like uh, uh, the, the games. I mean, it's... Uh, it, this is the biggest love letter to everybody who ever uh, loves Mario and... and uh, there you can expect easter eggs galore i mean they got the mario power-ups so uh, all the uh, mario outfits you know, the flowers the the, the squids uh, the uh the the uh, uh the, the uh the mario carts uh, and thankfully unlike uh, the uh, shitty 1993 movie uh, we don't spend the entire movie in brooklyn they they don't take long to get to the Mushroom Kingdom. And I know what uh, you're, you're all uh, thinking. Uh, how did Chris Pratt, the most controversial member of uh, this uh, stellar cast, do as uh, our favourite Italian plumber? He did fine. Better than I predicted he would, in all honesty. I mean, uh, he, he's perfectly harmless. Uh, I mean, not the best uh, performance of the movie by any means, but still decent. But I mean, I do wish he attempted to do an Italian voice, uh, but uh, but his American voice, uh, uh, what did sound better than than I feared, and but Charlie J was much better as Luigi, and I don't get the criticism that Luigi was done dirty here. I I love that Luigi was the one who was captured by Bowser, and that they had to go and rescue instead of Peach. How dull would it have been if we? had to see Peach be the damsel uh, again, like, uh, it's it's about time uh, for, for a change in the Mario formula. So Luigi uh, did uh, help uh, bring down Bowser uh, at the end w w with his brother when they used uh, the power of the star to, to become invincible, and and I totally bought to the the brother bond between the Mario brothers this time. We generally share some uh, touching brotherly moments together in both flashbacks and the present day. Uh, and and uh, the, of course you all know my favourite character of this movie who needs no introduction. The ruler of the Mushroom Kingdom herself, uh, Princess Peach and uh, Peach, uh, I mean, she uh, kicks uh, volumes of arse uh, here, like, she is superior to even the Peach uh, in uh, the games, and uh, and uh, Anya Taylor-Joy, she slayed at, uh, at voicing uh, Peach, and, and yeah, and I, I love how Peach was Mario's mentor and uh, training him in the ways of, of uh, their, their world, and, and, uh, you could see Mario and Peach, uh, well, uh, did, did uh, uh, grow to like one another more and more, but uh, they never force a, a, a love story with them. I also uh, dug Peach's backstory, how 
she's human like from the from the human world like Mary and Luigi and how the toads from the Mushroom Kingdom took her in as as an infant and Peach is already the a hottest movie character of 2023 thus far. I mean, she's literally the embodiment of Astrid from How to Train Your Dragon and Barbie, and the first blonde character in a blockbuster this year. Barbie will be the second in July. And uh, Toad, uh, voiced by Cheese Marion. I mean, thank God he got to do a good movie after the Lesser King four years ago. And, and Toad was like, her, her best uh, uh, pal and surprise Peach and never married him in the movie because well he would have been a way better a uh, husband for her than than freaking Bowser. And, uh, Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong I mean uh, Seth uh, gets uh, his uh, chance to be a uh, booming and uh, and uh, uh, in enthusiastic as this uh, uh, eccentric gorilla. But the other star member of the cast, um, other than Anya Taylor-Joy, would be uh, Jack Black as Bowser, and you already knew that. Jack Black is a god among uh, among voice actors, uh, particularly, and uh, he makes Bowser, uh, well, literally the Thanos of a Mario. Jack Black's Bowser is currently my favourite movie villain this year. He's not only an imposing force to, to be reckoned with that makes you go, how the fuck are our, our heroes going to beat this guy? But uh, but his comedy uh, cracked to me uh, the hell up at the same time. And his, when, when we get to hear him sing about how unhealthily obsessed he is with Peach, Peaches, 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 I love you. <laughs> uh, most entertaining parts of the entire movie, and, and stay for the credits if you want to hear the reprise of, of that song. And yeah, the, the comedy in this uh, movie, unlike Illumination's other works, so uh, well, uh, did uh, get, get a chuckle out of me. I mean, normally Illumination humour falls flat, but not this time. <laughs> and uh, the soundtrack, uh, not uh, just uh, for uh, Bowser's uh, singing, but for the other parts in general, was electrifying. Uh, particularly the use of uh, I Need a Hero in the Mario training montage. That's the second time I've heard I Need a Hero in a movie this year after Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Uh, are all movies taking in for it from Shrek 2 or something, but thank you movie for not making Mario the cliché chosen one. They could have easily have done a prophecy where Mario was the one destined to stop Bowser and everyone was telling Mario how great he is, but they didn't. They showed you how talented Mario was, and Mario was just a regular guy uh, who um, nobody knew uh, in the Mushroom Kingdom, so it's an underdog story. Uh, stories that we need more of. I'm surprised critics are uh, are not praising that about this film. And, uh, Luigi is escaping the skeleton of Coopers in Luigi's mansion and uh, uh, Mario versus Donkey Kong, which, which is a callback to Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Love that game. The Rainbow Road action scene is a real roller coaster ride with high stakes to it when a Koopa sacrifices himself to blow us up and they temporarily make you think that Mario is dead. And the final battle got uh, amazingly brutal by family movie standards where Bowser is just bashing uh, Mario and uh, Mario is all bruised uh, up and uh, I'm convinced it was that final action scene that got this movie a PG racing so this is most likely the darkest and uh, illumination movie and uh, was uh, overjoyed they were able to include uh, Peach's and Bowser's wedding because, well, well, because, uh, well, not only because uh, we love Peach as much as Bowser and we want her as involved in the narrative as possible, but uh, the but Peach and Bowser's wedding, if you play the games, you know is a iconic part of them, and and the best moment in the movie is when Peach goes all at Elsa and uh, freezes Bowser. I'm not kidding. This ain't a long movie, so it's the easiest uh, blockbuster to watch this year. I mean, it, it only 
takes an hour and 30 minutes to get through and it's paced uh, like a speed booster like the editor was uh was uh had a rocket tied to his back while uh, editing it or something uh it's simply a flawless mario movie and uh, uh and, and we'll uh see if uh if elemental uh and uh, across the spider-verse and wish I can uh top uh this for my favorite animated movie of the year i give the super mario brothers movie here we go five stars out of five best video game movie ever oh so, yeah huge uh, congrats to illumination for finally uh, upping their game as a studio i mean at least until sing three oh ah i mean uh, but uh, that's a extreme rant for uh, another year. Well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And what are your thoughts on the Super Mario Brothers movie? Uh, uh, do you agree or disagree with uh, the uh, critics uh, here? Uh, please comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. Please follow on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you all next time. Uh, and remember, movies are us. Bye, guys. Uh, oh, and uh, happy Easter.